My name is Thomas Tang and uh, I'm from Apantec. Give you a little history about Apantec. We were founded in 2008 uh, in my basement. So uh, the background is that uh, somewhere around 2008, after my third child was born, I told my wife one day that I'm quitting my job. So I quit my job, moved to my basement, and we started developing products. So we started the very first product uh, with an FPGA. So we're a very good Intel partner because that's most of the FPGAs that we use. And now we have about 150 different products. Um, most of our products come from our multi-viewer technology, and our very first product was a multi-viewer. And uh, we became an SDVOE member in 2019. So here's a quick survey, of course. I'm going to ask everybody, does anybody know what SDVOE is? Everybody does? OK, you get a hat. <laughs> Do you know what SDVOE is? OK, you get a hat. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Do you know what OPS is? Oh, here, you, get, you can have another hat, or you want a t-shirt. Anyway, so OPS is this device here. It's an OPS, stands for Open Pluggable Specification. It's an Intel standard, it fits on the side of a display. Do you know what SDM is? Yes, running out of hats, but SDM, SDM, SDM is the newer Intel specification called Smart Display Module. This is the SDM-S, this is the SDM-L large and small. Do you know what open gear is? Okay, a little bit. Well, open gear is a, it's an industry st standard. That's the form factor of an open gear board. Okay, so we would, um, it's also our goal to start building SDVOE products into open gear. So currently there are several display manufacturers that have SDM slots in the display. We're showing uh, one of them over at, uh, actually just down the hall here at uh, West 1915. We have an NEC display and of course there's Panasonic and there's actually more displays. So what you do is, um, but you, could, you could easily plug one of these in the displays. So currently a Pantax the only manufacturer that makes a, a non-PC SDM product, because SDM itself is, is built to really slot a PC into the display. We're the only ones that build interface products. Thanks to uh, SDVOE Alliance, they gave me this nice template. I used to have a face of Bill Gates, but I decided to put myself on there. <laughs> Standard issue templates. <laughs> I even uh, did the same look as Bill Gates. <laughs> so this is my quote on the, uh, on the Intel uh, website. It says, SDM platform simplifies display, video walls installation by reducing costs, complexity, as well as being future-proof. Our SDM modules are transforming the market for backass, AV, and video wall installations by leveraging the smart in the SDM. El eliminates the need to have different standalone interfaces, boxes, separate power supply adapters and cables. So by having simply having one of these, you can easily eliminate the wall warts that you need externally, the extra cable in between the module and the display and the module and the source. So it's very nice and clean. Again, this, uh, these are the SDM cards that we do now. You can see that the left one is a SDVOE over uh, CAT cables. And uh, the middle one is the one I brought here is SDVOE over fiber. These are very popular, especially in the projectors. And this is um, a SDML, which is the larger SDM. Uh, our plan is to build the, uh, the 2,000 chips into the large, to build video walls and so on.
So this is the basic uh, SDVOE um, feature set, so I'm not going to read through it. Everybody knows it, okay? It was also provided to me in the standard template. For the, for the people who just came and I'll show my template again. That was the standard template. <laughs> Careful, I'm going to use that picture when I send it to you later on. <laughs> I have another one going the other direction. <laughs> so, here, what we're showing here is, um, you know, if you have SDM, now sliding right into the display, you don't need the external boxes like I talked about. So it's a very clean installation. And on the video wall, once we build the video wall processing into here, you also don't need to have the external, really, a box per every output, right? And the third one I really wanted to show, oh, this is the, uh, the multi-view processor that could also be built in to an SDML. So this is the open gear frame. What Open Gear Frame does, it's a, it's a standard in, from the broadcast industry, but industry, but we brought that into the uh, pro AV industry. So we build a lot of the converters, we build a lot of transmitter, receiver, even KVM over IP into that platform. So as you can see, you could actually have up to 20 slots that you could put in boards, but mostly, practically 10 is probably the right number. So. You have redundant low sharing power supplies, okay? There's a built-in dashboard, so every board, you can see, it will show up on the dashboard. You can, you can monitor the status of the, of the board, all the configuration, all the firmware, everything on there. And, uh, and all these cards will be hot pluggable. So for maintenance, you can leave the whole thing on and just replace the card. And uh, flexible rear modules. So this is what it would look like. And that's what a rear module would look like. And you can mix and match. That's what a, a topology would look like. So instead of having multiple boxes in the front, you have an open gear frame or multiple open gear frames. And going through the switch, then you have all your SDM on the other side.